And then there was Heaven Syndrome, which is an old song, wrote in Hong Kong in early 2004, and uh, it was on Seven, our last studio-ish EP, well, mini album, and we thought we didn't have the definitive version, so we recorded this version, which I think is... I remember the first time you played me the chorus of that song, sitting in my little room between the kitchen and the hallway, our road in Bournemouth, second year of university. I think I think that song's interesting. You picked it up really So I think I think the song's interesting because the um, I think the four years we've been at Bosch. When I first I thought my first gig with the band, we um, um, in fact you guys played it, mm. and it was uh, you know a certain version, a certain style, and then I think. You know, four years later, we've suddenly it's kind of grown with us as well. It hasn't just kind of stayed the same. Yeah, it has. It's been the arrangements have changed. Change. They've become a little bit more intelligent. And, um, and we've played at every gig. No, well, nearly every. I remember one we couldn't play because someone had someone died. Yeah. It was a bit inappropriate to do. Yeah. Oh, it doesn't matter which one. But that wasn't no, the right. The Yeah, something awful. But yeah, it's one of those ones that the, um, people have picked up on. Quite a lot and uh, gets in people's heads, but I think uh, it's probably quite a brutal song. It's quite um, very sorry, yeah, yeah, like much of the album. Sorry, like much of the yes, album. it's quite a confrontational well, album in a, in a positive way. The verses are full of hope, mm. in a sense. And the song, even though it's controversial, is a song about hope, ultimately, yeah, telling. Yeah. And yeah, but, but questions I never was done. Good. Hopefully, he's posing questions to people. Um, and then the next song is Windscreen. How did that one actually come about? Sort of birth of all the different parts and things like that. Well, I was listening to what I thought was a Radiohead B side, which I don't think it was actually. I think it's something I downloaded when, in the naughty days of downloading things illegally, I just I tucked in Radiohead B sides and got this song. Get it? And it really inspired me to write something very sparse. And I had this idea for a metaphorical song about a car crash, about seatbelts and Jesus being a seatbelt sort of thing. Um, yeah, that quite Jesus a is a seatbelt. And that, actually, Jesus. that is inspired by a poster that, of Dave Grohl sat on a scooter with Jesus is my airbag on his t shirt or something like that. But it's kind of a similar idea. Um, and then I wrote it down in the cellar beneath where I work graphic design place where I work, just on a piano, on a keyboard, just that ding, 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 and um, it really became a big kind of riffy song, wow, okay. we're being, got we're it. oh you did get it, yeah. we're being chewed, full on attack, we need to hurry up, yeah. anyone else got anything to say about Wingspeed? Yeah, yeah. all I... the songs in the album are really good, you should buy it, play it whatever you can, it's good, <laughs> what do you think it's worth? Um, no, I, Windscreen has always been one of my favourite ones to play, because it's uh, very, very different to a lot very, of very songs. Easy. Very easy. You still manage to get it wrong sometimes, though. In practice, never live. What's this? There's an acorn in it. <laughs> yeah, but I, yeah, I think it, it progresses marvellously. And it had an end section that we cut off. Yeah, it's on the live boring. album version, which we decided was boring in the studio and just went. Shops. No, we won't stand for any compromise and just cut it off because we we weren't sure. So why why keep it if you're not even sure? So we did just deleted the whole thing um, and there it was. We just ended with the snare roll. Anyway, next song. 